If you sell anything online, then you have an e-commerce store or something like it and a product page. Now when people come to your store online, uh, rarely will it be on your home page. If you're advertising your home page or something like that, then you're probably spending a lot of money unnecessarily um, for dropping people off on a location where they're just going to get lost and not really find anything. Um, so what you're most likely doing hopefully is uh, advertising specific products on your store and dropping customers off who click on a link to a product on a specific product page uh, or even a, a specific product category like maybe you're advertising t-shirts and you want to advertise like men's v-neck t-shirts so you might drop someone off on a landing page that's specifically all um, men's v-neck t-shirts so it's a little more targeted the more specific your ad the more the less you're gonna pay the the higher satisfaction rate you know you're gonna have people finding what they want so the more specific you can get with that the better um, so which also means you might drop them off on a product page so if you drop a customer off on a product page, which of course is a good idea, you want to make sure that product page, uh, make sure you treat that as a landing page. So a landing page is something where the, the call to, you know, what the product is is obvious, uh, all the information is obvious, and the call to action, the most important part of it is obvious. What are, What is a customer supposed to do once they land on a page. Um, so I mean the first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that you show the product. So that's the number one most important part of uh, your product page. Uh, when somebody lands on a page and when they're on the internet you know you can't feel a product, you can't turn it around, you can't look at all the different sides. So all of that has to be shown in pictures which is why you want to make sure you have all angles all the details everything easily available um, on a website um, so a t-shirts not necessarily the best example because you're not you know you just want to make sure you get the right size um, and all that so there's not a whole lot of views but if you go over to Amazon, you'll notice a lot of products have a lot of different views, you know, showing the product uh, used in different ways. So, you know, everybody needs an LED uh, beanie cap, right? So this is this was featured on the Amazon homepage, and this is their primary image, you know, just a general product view. It shows the controls on it so you can turn it on, but it shows it in use. Um, you know with the light on it shows it actually on somebody's head what it does um, it you know a front view a side view with it on you know and some certain details about it um, so in you know showing that it's washable so you see there's a lot of different views of the same hat you can see it at different angles that's really important you know the more angles you can show it at all the you know the details up close um, the all that stuff. See, there's three angles there: front, kind of to from the side, and even the back of it. All those are extremely important on your product page because people can't feel your product; they can't look at it. Um, and even more helpful, where somebody would want to really get an in-depth view, uh, 3D, um, you know, revolving pictures. Those are really popular now and very helpful for being able to see the entire product. Allow your customer to grab it and turn it around, look at all the different angles of the product. Um, then they can really get an idea of what it is, what they're getting, um, so you know they're, not, they're less likely to return a product if they know what they're getting. Uh, and the picture plays a big part in that. So the picture is really important, but also um, your title is really important. This is just some generic information pulled into a store, but you can tell, see it's it's prominent on the page, very bold, very large. That's the most important part of it, and will tell um, tell a lot about the product. 
Um, those are important. Same with on Amazon. You can see the title is the primary part of the page, at least for text. Uh, it definitely stands out, even though there's all this stuff around it. The title still stands out because it's bold and it's a big block of text. Uh, and then, of course, on Amazon, because it's such a large store, you have they put a lot of information in the title about the product. And that's really helpful for optimizing your product. Well, that can also go for uh, your own store if you have that, you know, if you're ranking on Google or something like that or trying to, you want to have a helpful, helpful descriptive title. You won't do, if you have your own page in it and you want it to rank in Google, you're not going to make it this long. This is just too, way too long for Google. Uh, you know, you're going to stay within that 60 or so characters. But you still want it to be descriptive and helpful. Um, so after that, you know, the description is important. On Amazon, you know, pricings first and then bullet points. Those are both important parts of it. You know, telling all the details of the product um, in bullet points. So tell about it, you know, as much detail as people could be interested in knowing. You know, how long does the battery last? Uh, what's the size of it? Will it fit everybody's head? What's the what's the material made out of? You know, really get into the details of all that because again, people can't pick it up and feel it and look at it. So you need to tell them about about it. Describe every little bit of your product, um, or else you know, like on this T-shirt, what's it made out of? Um, does the sizing run large? Does it run small? Uh, how long is it a long, long length or you know all the details what is there printing on the front and back that's what that's something you're gonna show in the the picture but you want to really break it down the details um, and if you're using WooCommerce this is a WooCommerce store right here so you're gonna have the title the picture a description you know you can put bullet points in here instead of a short description that's always helpful, maybe one sentence, a few bullet points about the specifics of the product, um, and then pricing information. So you'll notice pricing information is a really big part of the page. If you're charged so much for the product, uh, but it's on sale, you want to make sure that's seen. You want people to know, uh, you want people to know that they're getting a good deal on this product. See how much the regular price is, $59.99. Uh, you could get it for $29.99 on sale. And then with whatever deal, this lightning deal, so this is, it's super on sale right now, so you want to make sure that is denoted in the pricing. Um, usually you'll have a sale price, and that'll be in red. This one, of course, has a lightning deal. You know, over here it's denoted that it's a lightning deal. Wow. So and you can get free shipping. So they're really trying to push this product and that's something you want to make sure is noted on here. So these these products are on sale. It has the big green sale button and then the price crossed out and then the sale price. And to do this even better, that sale price right there would be in red. So you want to really call that out. You'll notice the sale price, the final price is bold and red so people can really see what the sale is. Uh, and you'll notice on the actual product page, again, sale denoted up here. That could even be bigger and bolder and more prominent. Uh, and then crossed out, and then again, this should be in red. It's bold right now, but it could also be in red. Uh, and then of course there's the t-shirt, and then you can see what's on the back of it. So you want to really see uh, people want to really see what um, what it's like, what the product is like. Uh, and then, of course, you want to say how many are left. You have prominently displayed how many are left. You'll see that on a lot of products saying, you know, five left in stock. This is to create a, a level of urgency. You know, people, if they only see five in stock, oh, if they want it, they better get it now because it could run out really quick if there's only five. Um, so that's that's important. If you have stock in a product, then make sure you note that. Uh, and then the add to cart button. That's that's one of the most important parts of a product page. That's your call to action. 
um, you want people to click on that add to cart button so it should be extremely large extremely bold you should be able to squint your eyes on the page and be able to see that add to cart button it should be that obvious where you can see it even if you're blind as a bat you know maybe I don't have my glasses on and I'm looking at the computer well I should still be able to add it to the cart uh, hopefully that doesn't happen because then they can't really get a good look at the product and maybe won't even know what they're buying and will return it which is no good either um, you know and that's part of the reason you want to tell everything about the product you don't want people to have to return it uh, if they can't learn everything about it then there will be surprises when they get that in the mail uh, and then it costs you money to have to take that back and repackage it or do whatever you have to do you're gonna lose money on that process um, so down below is a full description um, WooCommerce has these little tabs here they give you the ability to add a full a more full description on each product and review also we're gonna start with the description that's really important um, you know Amazon does the same thing there's bullet points up here but uh, and then of course customers who viewed this also like this so you want to make sure um, you include products that are related or featured you know upsells maybe those are really important to include you know higher on the page the better like these related products could even go one up here so they're they're listed right under the picture uh, you want to make that prominent so people can see other related products uh, and then after that you'll see the product description so those are all the specifications, details, everything about the product. So you can see the dimensions, how much it weighs, shipping, all of this stuff. You want to include all of that. And you can put that in the description or you know further down on the page, but it should be available as much information as you can about the product. Um, and another really important piece of, of your product, and one that you can see is shown here, are reviews so you can see people can leave reviews on these products that's really important to um, to give customers the opportunity to leave reviews um, you know it'll rank uh, it'll look better people you know you have that social proof that people have bought the product and they enjoy the product you know that's one of the first things I go to in almost every product is the reviews I want to see the most positive and the most negative or, or at least read through and look at what people are saying of all the you know whether it's good or bad so that's shown here and that also uh, helps you in Google search when people search for a product so when people search for a product those reviews you know if you include the right code in your product I'll show that real quick I have actually have a blog post that I'll link in the details uh, you can see the the schema information that helps put these little stars and ratings on your product pages so when Google checks out your page and indexes your page it's gonna grab all the detailed information so you can see product description these are just too long but that's the nature of Amazon Amazon has so much traffic it doesn't really matter what they rank uh, what they rank for in Google but you can see these are important it shows the star rating right in the Google um, review uh, the rating average how many reviews so in on this page they won't stand out nearly as much but if you have a product page on a general search and most of the pages don't have these star reviews then your listing is really going to stand out. It's going to get more clicks than it normally would. Even if you're in the second spot, you might get more clicks than the first uh, the first listing because you have these star ratings. That can make a huge difference in search. Um, so make sure you have the right code for that. So for WooCommerce, um, which is the this initial website that. Um, this is just a demo website that I set up um, generic information pulled from WooCommerce um, so nothing really is specific uh, and nothing is real you can't actually buy anything um, but it does kinda give you a good demonstration of what all this stuff is uh, or what it can look like and what you can do you know making sure 
that products display in all levels and sizes and angles and everything. Um, but a structured, the structured data is what gives it that rating. So see, here's two listings right here. I took a screenshot of this. So, um, you know, one listing does not have the star rating uh, and one does. Amazon has these star ratings. So it actually stands out above this one. Uh, so this Amazon, I mean, it's first in the listing, but it's going to get more views it's gonna get more clicks even if it was lower down than this one because it has the the markup language um, and then also that can uh, that can work well in Google image search so you'll see products in Google image search will actually show this detailed information um, you know the price the reviews all the all the details about the product if it's a product image in Google's image results um, so that information, the, the code that does that is called open graph data. So that's schema uh, from schema.org. You know, they, they tell you how to lay out the code and how to, how to do everything in order for it to display properly in Google or other search engines. Um, so you'll see every product page will have something specific that tells Google this is a product page. The title of this product is such and such and this is the description of the product and then also it will do things like how much it costs is it in stock what's the price the currency type uh, and then it will you know here's the url um, and then there's things that, that also it doesn't show everything in here but you'll you know there will be in the code things like the star rating uh, how you know how many people have rated it, how many stars average it is, all that data and Google pulls that and puts it in its search results. Uh, other things pull this information too like on Pinterest. Uh, when you share uh, a pin on Pinterest if it's from a product page Pinterest will actually grab that information and put you know this product this is a product it costs this much it's in stock you'll get a specific page just for a product on your pin that you shared. So if you promote that or do anything with that, it's gonna look a lot better and people can actually visit or buy that product right from the pin. Well, it'll link to that page, but you know, it'll, you can, it'll look like you can buy it rather than reading an article or looking at a recipe or something like that. It's a specific type of pin for a product page. Um, so that really, um, really makes your products more prominent in search. You know, these, these stars. So WooCommerce doesn't come with the schema data built right in for these stars. Um, you have to actually use a plugin if you're using WooCommerce. You have to use a plugin in order to display that. There's many plugins out there that can do this. Um, I use Schema Pro, but there's also... Um, also, I recommend um, Yoast. Um, so if you use Yoast SEO for your general website search engine optimization, um, there's a WooCommerce plugin for Yoast that also puts all the schema data in your product pages to make sure your products look good. Um, Yoast uh, SEO or WooCommerce SEO is is really easy you just install it does cost some money but it's really easy because you just install it and it does its work you don't have to do anything um, schema pro is a plugin I think it costs money too it requires a little bit of work you know it requires you to set up those schema types but it can work for things like local business uh, all kinds of different things I'll link those products in the description also um, both of them I've used and they're both very excellent products. They work well. Um, so that is the general overview of what every product page should contain. The very, very important parts of every product page. Um, so just to recap, you know, a good title that stands out, a picture with lots of details, a general overview description uh, that breaks down some of the details that people want to know of the product, make sure the price is known and any discounts are also prominent 
uh, make adding it to the cart extremely easy. The add to cart button should be super, super bold. Um, make sure people can review the products, leave uh, reviews, and also you want to show those reviews too. Uh, and then also a fuller description, so make sure you describe all the details of the product also broken down. And make sure you call out other products that are related or upsells, things you also think people should add to their cart. That can improve your overall cart balance so you're making more money. So all those things are very, very important. Uh, oh, and don't forget the schema. That's very important for um, making your listing look good on search engines, Google image search, um, and also Pinterest. Uh, I think Facebook might even pull some of that information, Twitter, those things. All those social, social media um, websites use the schema information. They'll use the schema information right here in order to formulate a more rich uh, pin or post or whatever uh, in order to fit the product. So go out there, make sure you have an awesome product page, an awesome store. If you're dropping off customers on your uh, to buy a product, make sure you're doing it on a really optimized, good page that will help people learn about your product and buy it really easily. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Now that you've checked out an Experience video to help you expand your small business online presence, be sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos as they come out. Or you can check out the ebook that will help you grow your email list without even having a website in case you don't have one. Or you could check out another video.